What's up, everybody? Spare with a gun here from Sleepless Nights with another episode on Space Engineers. Um, when we left off in the last episode, we had moved to a new location, trying to generate some new asteroids so that we could get some ice and carbon, which was added. Okay, well, the ice was added. The carbon was part of a mod that I added. Um, so, this was our platform station area for building the new ship. Um, and I mentioned in the last episode I wanted to do a rotating uh, reactor. It's going to be a little bit interesting on how this ends up working. Um, so first of all, what I'm going to do is try to expand the intersection here. And by that I mean inner section, not intersection. <laughs> um, so... okay, so there's that. Because part of the thing is I don't think the reactor had enough room before to rotate. It was colliding with the walls, I think. And I don't think it liked that. The other thing is I found, oddly enough with all these mods, it's not a mod. Um, or at least I don't think it is. The advanced rotor, which was what I was looking for in the last episode. And basically these are rotors that allow um, items to be passed through them, which is kind of exactly what I was trying to find. Um, so... Let's go up. I have noticed that this rotor seems a bit more finicky in terms of placement. Like, right here, home and end should flip it to where it's side by side, but it doesn't. Um, so, I'm figuring out that a rotor can't be placed, or an advanced rotor can't be placed parallel to something. It has to be, like, attached to it, so we're gonna have to go up and over um, to do this. Now... Actually... I should probably build it out of... Uh, let's get rid of this layer, and we're gonna do... Whoops! I'm trying to... Um, oh, crap. I'm trying to keep my hot bars where one and two is always a welder and a grinder. Um, mostly for... Oh, there's that hex window stuff. That's cool. Um, mostly for convenience, uh, because we're not actually in... Um, I don't know if I'll need all of these or not, but I'll just keep them anyway. Uh, mostly because we're not in the... Um, creative world where we can just delete stuff. Uh, I'm going to place... Just... I'm going to do it from piping, I think. And the rotor is... too long. The reactor is 3x3. Three three, and I'd like the reactor to be in the center. So I need to go two higher, no, three higher, and then come over. So we'll do one, two, and then we'll go over. I said that wrong, by the way, I'm, I'm, I know. And then two over and one down should work. And we're going to adjust this at some point, eventually. And I should be able to place that, and then I should be able to place that. Question is, is that how I want it, or do I want it? I kind of want it this way. I think this would give us more... Oh. Except that there isn't... There we go. So if I do it like this... So if I do it that way, there should be... Let's just double check and make sure this is right. Um, if I... Yeah. Okay, so there should be a conveyor panel, but we'll get the ring facing like this. So we'll be able to visibly see it spin a little bit more, which would be kind of awesome. Um, so that looks like it would work. Now, my question is, because of the way 
rotors work and their grid system. If I delete this, can I put it back? Okay, I can. Awesome. Because that means that can stay right where it is. And then we can... Man, I am so laggy today. I don't know why. Hold on a second. Let me see if I can clean something up on my system so that it's not so jagged. Okay, hopefully that cleared things up a little bit. Looks like it did. I had a couple of things running in the background that had been running overnight and stuff, so I think it just started to build up in the RAM. Um, so yeah, this will mean that we can leave this here, but once it's built, we can remove this and move the piping around. And because it's a station, it's not going to have issues with it. Like, we could actually just go up one and then put this into the ceiling and not have this giant pipe system here, etc. Um, now, one thing I'd also like to test out is now that the reactor is in place, can I actually place these back? And to my surprise, it actually looks like I can. Oh, that's why. This is higher than I wanted it to be. Hold on. I miscalculated the... Uh, range somewhere, I believe. Okay, if I were to do that... Yeah, that's not, that's not, uh, low enough. Oh, that's why. Okay. Okay, I see what happened. It needs, um, the rotor needs to have two blocks to place, but it doesn't actually take up two space. Like, see the collision box there? It says it needs two, but it actually doesn't. It just needs two to place. So now... Actually, is that... That's still not quite... Well, yeah, I guess that'll work. Yeah, I guess that'll work. Originally, I was going to have it be... Um, since it's 3x3, three three, have the center be here, and then it would dupe... Or dupe. It would go down one. Um, but that's fine. Actually, I'm a derp. I'm a derp. I want to... I know. I'm so indecisive. What I'd actually like to do here... Um, is keep this this way, and I'm just gonna add a tube, I think, um, because that way the rotor can stay up higher and not be as um, in the way, I guess. Actually, no, I, I'm so sorry about that. I keep seeing it different ways in my head, and I think this would actually end up looking better. Um, because what we can do here, um, even if it's not real, like even if it's not connected to anything, we could put another... Um, oh, I thought we could put another rotor there. Maybe not. I'll be fine. That looks good. Um, now, let's see if I can put this. I Really? It'll actually let me? That's so interesting. I really didn't expect it to let me put blocks around it that close. Yeah, that's what I was afraid of. So that it won't do. The rest of the blocks it will. Well, I actually don't want to do that then because I don't want there to be just like a random gap. That would look kind of weird. So instead, what we're going to do is we are going to make this row um, the window glass, whatever. Whatever you want to call it. The viewing area. Um, and let's bring this back a little bit. And like I said, we're not 
probably going to do exactly this. Uh, for one thing, it's a lot of resources to, to use for just getting a rotor connected. Oops. Uh, okay. That was weird. I was really afraid it wasn't going to let me do that. Okay. So that's all of that. Now... Let's... Oops, what the... I really do hate how the buttons change for rotation. That one minute it's one way, and then the next minute it's another way. Now, hold on a minute. I just thought of something. This is taking up this block. But technically... I'm going to try something, and I hope it works. What I'm going to do is actually flip these. Like this. So, if I did this one, it ends up having to be here. But, if we do the other side, let's see if it'll, it might end up being... Yeah, it's reflective. That's what I was afraid of. Dang it. Um, can I not get rid of this? That's weird. That was very strange. Hmm. Alright, maybe there isn't a way around that. Energy's getting low. Oops. And while we end up charging our system, there is also something else that I want to try uh, for the exploration scanning mod. Because now I've been told multiple times how to actually operate the thing, so now I might be able to actually see if there's anything out and about. Okay. We do have a mining hauler down there and a military escort over there. I hope it doesn't actually get too close to us. Looks like it's kind of getting a little close. So, with the antenna on, type scan. Ah! Stationary. Large. One derelict. Um, okay. I'll have to basically figure out how this relates to the in-game GPS and see if we can figure out where it is. Um, but that's interesting. I really hope that this mining es or military escort doesn't... Uh, get any closer, because it looks like it might actually be on a path for us, which would not be good. Okay. So we got this set up, sort of. Um, and these blocks are really cool, um, because you can make rounded edges, but I have found some collision bugs with them, like this, um, where it's like you can't move because it sees it as a wall, which is really annoying. Because um, truth be told, other than that, I'm not really sure if we would need a second walkway, but without being able to, you know, walk through the thing, I mean, that's kind of problematic. Unless that's Unless it's just from me putting it in here wrong. Whoops, that got a little carried away. Um, because I have also noticed that originally I was kind of doing these incorrectly. Um, that the thicker orange strip should be on the bottom. And see, like that, it shouldn't really be that way. So let's see if I put it the right way, if it still collides. Yep, it does. Stink. See, that's the annoying part, is that basically closes off that corner block that you can't get through because it sees it as, like, two walls. 
um, which is really frustrating because it makes it look a lot better but it almost forces you to have to do another walkway row just because you can't walk through this corner um, so I'm debating on like not using them I mean as cool as it makes things look it just it causes a lot more of a problem than I feel it's worth um, if you guys know of a solution for that, do let me know, because I like those corner edges, but I really don't like having to make... Because we would literally have to make a whole other row that you'd actually be able to walk on um, for that to work. And I don't feel like that's very cool. Um, bu -bu -bum. What else? What else? We might end up doing it anyway, though, just because... Um, Pretty much just because that it does add an interesting feel to everything. Um, these are pretty cool too. I didn't think about that. We could... Can I put... No, I cannot. Okay, so we could do... Um... We could do the wall blocks on the outer edge here. Instead of making a, sep a second walkway as well. Um, it looks like... This is kind of the one that I would need the most of, I think. And then maybe do... How does this look? Does it keep the same keeps it but flipped. Okay. Um what if we did Are these kind of the same thing? They're kind of the same thing. Oh, unless we flipped it. No, that wouldn't work. Okay. Um we could do these on the corner. something like this and then when you get to a section um, where you're going to go through like a doorway we could switch and put these that might give it an interesting look and then at periodic places we could actually do um, we could actually do the um, fuel control panels and stuff like that, but that kind of gives it an interesting look to it, I think. Um, and then we would be doing like this. Or wait, no, this is going to be fours. I think I've got it figured out to where fours are on these two walls, and then what I've got, or basic wall two, and then basic wall one would be on this wall, on on the these two. Okay, how does that end up looking? That looks kind of good. Um, I do actually think... What would this one look like over here? Hmm. Actually, what I'm going to do is... Wait, no, that does actually look kind of good. Oh, wait a minute. I need it this way. If we did one on this edge. So I do think I'm going to keep it that way. Because this kind of looks like it's opening the wall. This kind of looks like it's closing. So if we did a whole wall this way. 
in this fashion. I'll show you what I'm kind of getting at, I suppose. that's kind of what I was meaning is like the left one uh, kind of seems like it's an open and close type panel like parenthesis brackets almost you have like the one that goes like this and then when you get over here you have the one that goes like this so they kind of look like they're closing each other off which I kind of like so I'll probably keep that structure um on the wall shapes and I don't know if this is gonna be here that one's right hey I did it right anyway sweet and then we'll do like this and of course you don't want to do too much at one time without welding it all together um, or at least keeping it accessible so that you can weld it all together later. Um, and this path is going to go towards the bridge. That path back there, I want to go to the battery bay, basically. Because um, that would be cool. So let's go ahead and put our door frames here. Oops, where did that go? Oh, it went under it. And... Like so. Right? Yeah, I think so. see how that ends up looking. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think about the ideas. Oops, ran out of stuff. Um, yeah, I kind of like that idea. And we'll probably replace some of these panels with the fuel connector monitors, all that stuff. Um, but let me know what you guys think about that. Because um, I kind of like it. And I'm going to work on probably welding it all together. And that way it'll all be kind of like, you know, set up. Um, and also about the corners. Let me know if there's a means to put those corner blocks in without it like taking up the whole block. Because that was kind of frustrating. Um... Yeah, I think that's going to wrap things up for this episode, so let me know what you guys think. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, and I'll see you all next time. Peace!